Hi, I'm Deepak Reddy, an orthopedic spine surgeon in South Bend, Indiana. I've been working with Excelsius GPS over the last three years. I did a case the other day that really shows off the power of the preoperative CT workflow and its ability to segmentally merge lumbar spinal vertebrae on the table against a preoperative CT scan. This patient was a 71-year-old male who presented to Spine Clinic with complaints of back pain, leg pain, neurogenic claudication, and had failed conservative therapy, including injection of medications and therapy. He had a degenerative grade 1 spondylolisthesis of L4-5 with some degenerative changes of L5-S1 as well. His MRI revealed central stenosis at L4-5 with bilateral foraminal stenosis at L4-5 and moderate foraminal stenosis at L5-S1 on both sides. Given that he had symptoms that crossed both the L4-5 and L5-S1 dermatomes, the decision was made to include both levels in the surgical plan. CT scan showed the degenerative condition of the L4-5 spondylolisthesis with bilateral foraminal stenosis at the L5-S1 level. In the following clips, you'll see how the intraoperative fluoroscopy shots on the Jackson table are able to be resolved against the preoperative CT scan, despite the fact that the individual vertebral bodies are in a dramatically different position on the Jackson table than they were when the CT was taken supine. Here you see the merge fidelity with the L4 vertebral body staying static and motion at L5 and S1 that represents the difference in positioning due to the table. The software is able to individually identify each vertebral body and merge it to the CT scan to accurately assess its three-dimensional position in space. Here you can see the static position of L5 with the gross motion of L4 representing the difference in position prone on the Jackson table versus supine in the CT scanner. Again, we see this at S1 with a static image merging between the CT and the fluoroscopy shot of S1 with motion at the L4 level. Ultimately, a transfemoral lumbar interbody fusion with Globus's Altera expandable banana cage was utilized to restore this patient's anatomical parameters, and a decompression infusion was performed from L4 to S1. This illustrates just one of the reasons that the preoperative CT workflow is our preferred workflow when working in the operating room on degenerative conditions with Excelsius GPS. We found the technology to be extremely helpful for our operating room in the last three years, and hope you do too.